in the interview I did with Alex Banier, he said, like, bar none, I work with the best laminator in the world. Refer, referring that. to you. Okay. <laughs> I knew you weren't going to accept the compliment, but I've heard a lot of people say that when you ask somebody, surfboard shapers or even other laminators, like yeah. who are the key guys, your name comes up as a being the best. So the theme that I want to discuss with uh, you today is yeah. being the best in the world at something. Like I don't talk to a lot of people in my life who are definitively the best in the world at something. Um, so how does, what are the elements that go into this to make you the best in the world at something? Like there is obviously a technique for laminating surfboards that you have to hit these certain things. You have yeah. to do these, but is there then an artistic element involved? Like we could talk about color work, I suppose, but is there a layup of different uh, wo weaves of cloth that you can use that make yours better than others? Or like, what are the key elements well, I think it's my upbringing in the surfboard industry. Um, and again, I don't think I'm the best. Um, there's a there's a pretty solid crew of laminators out in the world. They're you know they all can do a an amazing job. Um, but you know, like I think I just got a, a, a I care about what, what I do. So and I'm also my own worst critic. Okay. Um, but I've also been like, you know, I, I went through the ranks of Moonlight. I saw what they were doing. They had like the utmost quality and respect from the world as far as what they do. And, and I, that's my foundation. Um, you know, and then I came across Mr. Tom Eberly, mm. who was like a huge impact on me. Um, and just, you know, he kind of like took me under his wing um, you know, and like a, uh, a father figure and advice and all that kind of stuff. And just in making surfboards, you know, just his whole outlook on everything. Um, you know, don't be a 90% guy, be a 110% guy, you know, uh, just give a fuck to what you're doing and just do the best job possible. And if you mess up, own up to it, you know, and fix it. Uh, don't pass it on to somebody else, you know, um, finish the job to where he always did, had this thing where it's like do the board and pretend like it's going to get surfed right after you're done with it. So it's not like something that has to get pre sanded or, and that goes with everything with hot coat with finning. So, you know, um, that's how we would do it there. Okay. Uh, you could literally take a board in the sanding room before it got sanded with glass on fins and go write it. Really? Cause it was already that flat and perfect and, and nice, you okay. know, and just make everything good. So the guy after you has an easier time, which means it's going to come out better and, and it's going to be a better product at the end of the day. So, um, I just got lucky and got surrounded by really good board builders, starting with moonlight and Everly. Eber Everly's trained. So many gnarly people have gone through his ranks. I mean, Greg Martz worked for him. Okay. Bob Hurley was one of his shapers. I mean, I can't even think of all the people that he's, uh, that have helped him or that he's helped. Um, and as you know, I mean, you talk to like Jerry Lopez, he's like, man, Tom Everly's one of the best classers I've ever had the pleasure of working with and alongside. Wow. Yeah. So he's very highly respected. 